Hi everybody and welcome to World Book Day for 2021. We've got lots of different activities for you to do so enjoy doing those today. Uh, there are also lots of films for you to see of people that you recognise from school, um, from the world of television and sport, all giving you their own story about reading and the benefits and the enjoyment that it's brought them. There's also a number of them who will say that they found reading difficult, particularly when they were younger. And that's a really important message as well, because it's not something that's straightforward, but it is something that is really important to do as best as we can, because it'll have a huge benefit for your life if you can actually read well. Uh, in my own life, uh, yeah, it's made a difference to me in school because it allowed me to progress and get qualifications. Uh, in my job now, like all the other staff, we're having to read all the time to learn new things, to understand things, so that we can make the right choices and decisions that make things better for us, for the school, uh, make things more successful. As important in all of that really is the ability to read so that you can relax and enjoy. Uh, and whether it's a story about a, a future time or a different place, uh, learning about a place you're going to go on holidays, learning about a place you're going to visit, uh, reading about the interesting things which other people have done, perhaps learning from the mistakes that they've made as well, uh, and also learning from uh, skills and hobbies and learning new ideas that can make your life better and more interesting as well. Things as well then that you can discuss with friends. So the, the number of benefits to reading go on and on and on. Today is World Book Day. Today if you do nothing else, find time to start reading, pick up a book, uh, get stuck into it, enjoy it, persevere with it and I trust it will make a massive difference to you and you'll read for the rest of your life. Take care everybody, enjoy. Hello, my name is uh, Ian Goff uh, and I'm currently a property developer, renovator, helping rebuild properties that have fallen down. Uh, my thoughts on reading are so important, it's really important and it's fun. You know, the descriptions you get and the feel you get for a book is so more than you get watching a film or, or watching a programme. So you really get to know the characters and, and the scenes. Type of things I like to read, I really like to read true stories, uh, biographies, autobiographies, but on, based on true events. Uh, to get a good understanding of what happened. Uh, and at the moment, my favourite read is with my eight-year-old son, Gabriel, which is Gangster Granny by David Williams, which, uh, which is a lot of fun to read. I enjoy reading it with him and listening to him read it as well as me reading it. And, uh, and it's, just, uh, it's just a really good, fun book to read. Hi, everyone at the Pond Creek High School. Um, it's Jonathan Davis, uh, BBC broadcaster, ex-rugby uh, has-been. Um, just like to say uh, the importance of reading. Um, I didn't read enough in school actually, um, so that's one regret I have. But uh, reading is a great way of uh, educating yourself. Uh, what, no matter what kind of uh, book you read, uh, autobiographies, thrillers, um, anything, fiction, non-fiction, um, it just increases your vocabulary and, uh, you know, kind of your education really so um, have a great day on World Book Day and make sure that um, you read vitally vitally important okay all the best hello good day um, my name is Lenny Jones and I'm the head coach of the Russian national rugby team and uh, here I am live in Sochi down on the Black Sea uh, I just want to take a, a couple of seconds uh, just to say hello and to speak to you to inform you of the benefits of reading. It's uh, you know when, when we're all growing up, we've all got I haven't got time to do it because we're doing our sport or, or our music or anything. But uh, it's really really important to to read as much as you can and anything you can. It doesn't have to be a book. It can be a magazine. I spend all day reading uh, websites and good articles to help my work, help my job but also to see what's going on in the world. And, uh, and, but I only stick to the factual uh, articles, really. But reading offers a lot more than just enjoyment. You know, it improves your vocabulary. It gives you more words to use when you're uh, talking to your friends, debating, going for a job, chatting somebody up to go out with you. Um, I think it, you know, it improves your brain connectivity in your brain. You connect with people. You know, it keeps your brain.
I am healthy when you get old like me and you know you start to forget things it's important to read and to keep your brain active also you know it does help you relax and keep you healthy it lowers your blood pressure and your heart rate stress depression and um, what's, what's, what's better, it, it helps you, makes you more intelligent and you can debate more and it helps you understand what's going on in the world as well. And, and one day when you do read a book, you get this sensation, it's called, can't put a book down. And that book is so good, so entertaining, you really can't put it down on the floor. And you know what, then it comes home. What a great thing reading books is. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, my friend Chris is a physiotherapist and he wants to say something. I'm reading this book at the moment by Professor Bill Rivens. It's about a surgeon's life working in sport. It's really interesting and helps me uh, understand different aspects of my job. Goodbye. Hi, everybody at Pontbridge High School. Hope you're having a great day on World Book Day. I'm Scott Cornell and I used to play a bit of rugby, but now do a bit of TV and radio. Uh, I struggled with dyslexia uh, until I was 36 and uh, then when I was able to read, read all the Harry Potter books. People told me that the books are better than the film. I didn't believe them at the time, but then I read the books and they are it's absolutely incredible. Uh, if you haven't read them or uh, if you've been struggling to read them, please keep on trying because it's World Book Day and what better day to start than today. Have a good one. Ta -da. Oh, hello, Potter Pre High School. I hope you're all doing well. Um, some of you may remember me from a couple of years ago. My name is Stephen Deal and I was deputy head teacher at Pontypridd High School, but um, now I am head teacher at Bedras High School. Um, I've been asked to give a little bit of a talk, I suppose, about reading um, and how important it is because it does make a massive difference to you. I really like reading because it opens your imagination. It can take you to places that you've never thought possible just from reading different types of, of, of books. But also that, it actually adds your understanding and knowledge of different things and the world and, and develops your vocabulary greatly um, and you can read about anything really from gaming to football to famous people the list is endless um, my favorite types of books are autobiographies uh, a little bit of fiction and then I quite like the thrillers as well um, but that is not my favorite book my actually favorite book at the moment is this book it's a children's book it's called the Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse, and by Charlie Maxey, and my children love it, okay? It's really, really interesting, so if you get a chance, it's only a quick read, give it a read, okay? I hope you're all really well in, in Ponty High, and uh, keep safe and get reading. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, my name's Steve Jones, and I am an avid reader. I tend to read anything and everything, from biographies to books on business, uh, horror books, fantasy books, but I would have to say that fantasy is my favourite kind of book. It's uh, such a joy to use my imagination and I feel that some books are just so fantastical they couldn't exist on your TV screen or at the cinema. They could only exist on the pages of a book and I think it's very important to read because, well you can go to the gym if you want to build your muscles, but reading a book is how you make your brain bigger. That's uh, why I read, for knowledge and fun. I believe the more you know, the better a person you will be. So take care everyone and read a book. You will not regret it. Good morning, Stuart Davis here. I'm an ex-international rugby player. I played all my rugby for Swansea though, so we had some great visits up to Pont de Preeth, uh, some great paddles. Uh, so it's lovely to be able to send uh, a message to Pontypridd High School this morning on World Book Day. And there's a lot of competition for, for your time these days. Um, PlayStation's a lot of fun, there's some great box sets on the TV, uh, and hopefully a lot of sport in your lives as well. But what I would say is uh, it's always worth keeping a good book on the go. Uh, they're a great distraction, you can immerse yourselves in them, uh, you can read them wherever you are, uh, and so much choice and so much fun to be had by reading a good book. My personal favourite is Cain and Abel by Geoffrey Archer. Uh, that's what got me going in, in reading books, so you might want to check that one out. Uh, but which, whatever you enjoy, make sure you've got a good book on, on the go uh, and have fun with it.
Happy World Book Day! Tom Smith here. Um, used to play a little bit of rugby for the Ospreys, but now coaching with the Cardiff Blues. Just wanted to share with you how much I enjoy and how much I have learned from reading. Um, things I like to read, read all the Harry Potter books, read all the Lord of the Rings books, and uh, yeah, way better than the films. Films don't come close. Uh, other things I enjoy reading, sport and autobiographies of players and coaches um, they give you all the little tasty tidbits and the bits of gossip that you don't see in uh, in the news but yeah reading's given me so much enjoyment and i've learned so much over the years from from reading all sorts of books magazines everything so get into reading trust me you will not regret it have a good day hi everyone and happy world book day now i'm not famous and i definitely don't play rugby but just like Scott Quinnell, you might see me on TV sometimes. Although in my case, I'll be talking about not sport, but the economy, taxes or government spending. And that's because I'm an economist and manager at a research institute in London. But for my shirt here, you can tell I'm a Ponty boy at heart and actually went to school with her deputy head, Mrs Dober, down the road in Hawthorne. Now, I have to read a lot of really technical and sometimes quite dry stuff for my job. So after a hard day's work, all I want to do sometimes is just really slob out in front of the TV. But I actually really enjoy reading for fun too. I read lots of science and historical fiction. So exploring strange new worlds or riding alongside marauding armies like in the book I just finished uh, earlier today. It's just so different from my day-to-day -day life. And I find reading uh, so much more engaging than staring at a screen. You just need to use your imagination to see the story. It, it's not spoon fed to you. And it really sparks my curiosity. So I often find myself, you know, looking at uh, the real science or the real history. Now, of course, sci-fi or history aren't everyone's cup of tea, but there's so much out there on so many different topics. So I'm sure everyone can find, you know, their own page turner. And of course, with less to do out and about with this current COVID situation and it being World Book Day, now's, I think, a great time to actually get back into the habit or start a new habit of reading. I'm really sure you'll enjoy it and the curiosity it'll spark will help you in so many other ways too. It's definitely helped uh, me with school, with uni and with my job. So, what are you waiting for? Hey guys, James Hook here. A quick message for Pont de High School for World Book Day, guys. Just want to try and encourage you to get out there and, and read. Uh, if it's a book, great. It might be a newspaper article, uh, a magazine, whatever it is. Just try and, and find something you enjoy and uh, and get out there and get some reading done. It doesn't have to be a chore. And I think uh, if you find something you enjoy, um, you know, you'll obviously enjoy it a bit more. And if you are struggling for something to read, I've brought out a book with uh, my co-author Dave Braley in the last year called Chasing a Rugby Dream. So any rugby or sport lovers out there, give that a go. But um, yeah, all the best guys and enjoy. Take care. Hi, my name is Ryan Jones and I used to play rugby for Wales and the Ospreys. I know it's World Book Day coming up, so I thought I'd share with you my love of reading and one of the books that I currently keep close to me. Um, reading for me has always been pretty important, you know, whether it be reading and learning about stuff on the internet, whether it be using it in my day-to-day -day work, trying to be the best rugby player I could be, whether it be flicking through social media. But more importantly for me, the world's a really small place and, and being able to read and learn and, and talk about it, it's just a wonderful way to explore it. Um, there's so much out there that I don't know and I've never experienced, but I now want to, that I've seen and I feel like I know and I'm, it's given me this passion and desire to explore. That's where this sort of book comes in, really. I think quite often, you know, I use books to sort of reflect on me and a, a very dear friend of mine sent me this not so long ago and I often reflect and flick back to some of the pages within it and it's a book of quotes with little pictures in and I'm just going to read you a couple of my favourite ones. So this first one is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. 
And finally, another favourite of mine is, what's the bravest thing you've ever said? Asked the boy. Help, said the horse. I keep this book next to the bed and quite often we'll flick through it just for a sort of gentle reminder of the wonders and magic of the world out there. But that's just me. Find your own reading journey. All the best. Have a great couple of days and enjoy the rest of the year. Take care. Bye. Hello, my name is Nick Saunders and I run a music venue in Cardiff called The Depot. Um, we also run events outside of the venue in Cardiff Castle and if the pandemic allows us to this year, we'll have shows like Kaiser Chiefs, Ollie Mears and Falls all live. Um, when I was asked to do this uh, video, I was having a little quick think about what I do read and on a weekly basis, being a massive Liverpool fan, um, one of the first things I'll always do is read the, the reports from the weekends. Um, obviously at the moment Liverpool aren't doing great so it's not pretty reading but yeah the Guardian is one of the the, re the things I'll read on a, on a Monday morning to see what how, how Liverpool have done and try and dissect all the different bits of analysis that at the moment yeah it's not great um, but from a business perspective um, I often read quite a lot of newsletters and magazines that will uh, give insight into the industry. Hi, my name's Gavin. Um, I work as part of the medical department for Ospreys, uh, specifically as um, a physiotherapist. Um, having a decent ability to read has been real important as part of my career. You know, it's been a, a skill that I've taken through sixth form university um, and now as working as part of the Ospreys. Um, I use it on a daily basis when I'm working with players, you know, going back through their like rehabilitation, um, the surgical reports, um, chat, chatting back and forth with surgeons. You know, it's really important that, you know, we use that to give them the right care. You know, um, as a kid, you know, I was really into Harry Potter at the time, like a bit nerdy, but really enjoyed them books. And, and now as I go forward, like I really like autobiographies and, and different reads, really. Um, so I can't even place enough importance on, on reading as a skill. Hi guys, my name is uh, my name's Tom. I'm a I'm a four year qualified solicitor, and I've been uh, been asked to give you my thoughts on um, on books and and reading. Uh, I didn't really read a great deal when I was younger, um, and it wasn't until I read my first book that I realised really what I'd been missing out on. Um, that book was a book called It's All in the Game. I'd actually seen the television program that the, the book was was based around well, the television program was based around the book actually uh, and I really enjoyed the television program and somebody bought me the book uh, then as a Christmas gift uh, and the book gave me so much more insight um, into the characters the way they thought the way they where they uh, viewed things uh, and built much more of a colorful image for me uh, uh, of the story um, and from then I went on to read uh, much more frequently and realised, like I said, what I've been missing out on, how much I enjoyed reading. Uh, what, am I, uh, what was the last book I read? So the last book I read was uh, The Handmaid's Tale. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Read it whilst on holiday. Uh, and currently I'm reading um, both Warren Gatland and Eddie Jones' autobiographies. So it's interesting to see how both of those uh, guys approach the game of rugby and their thoughts. Uh, so really there's plenty of things out there for, for people to enjoy reading, uh, whether it's autobiographies or crime and gang dramas or science fiction. I mean, just get yourselves a, a, a book, get get involved with it, and uh, and I'm sure you'll you'll enjoy it going forward. Hi there, everybody at Pontypridd High School, and happy World Book Day. My name's Andrea Byrne, and I'm a journalist and a newsreader at ITV News, and a bit of a bookworm as well. Um, I think it's so important to get loads of variety in what you read. I remember going to change my library books when I was little every week, and I really think reading inspired me a lot in what I do today. I like historical fiction, because I think you can learn a lot about periods of history through wonderful storytelling. Um, two of my favourite authors are probably Jane Austen and Margaret Atwood for their portrayals of female characters both in the past and into the future as well. And, and ultimately I just love a really good page turner, so all those crime thrillers like Paula Hawkins and Claire McIntosh, um, really to give you that daily dose of um, escapism. So as I say, keep reading and happy World Book Day.